Hi folks, this is Shannon and welcome to a new episode of the Adobe at Adobe Behind the Scenes podcast. Um, today I spoke on a CQ conference in San Diego and I talked about HTL. Unfortunately, there was not enough time, so I wanted to use this to show you one feature um, which is very unique about this templating language. It is a feature, um, uh, an extent feature. So let's go into it. You also, the component, this is a regular component, CQ component. And now we want to overlay this. And, um, everybody who knows CQ knows what this overlay concept is. Let's first look at the source code. So this is our source code. And my source application is in libs. So to overlay it, I need to create the same folder structure in apps. And then I need to specify the file I want to overlay. So let me just write some text. If you reload the page, you see that it changed it with the text of my overlay. But that is actually not what I wanted to do. If you look at the source code of my element in libs, I just want to overlay one element here. I don't want to overlay all the rest. And how can I do that? And for this, we use this new extend element. And before we use that, we define with a data HTL ID attribute um, the element we want to let overlay. Let's say that. So I defined the name list element item. And I just want to change this li to an ol. So I go back to our block statement here. And I will create a pseudo tag, a span tag with data HDL extend. Keep it empty for now. And inside here, I define the element I want to overlay with data HDL ID, the name, and this is the li overlay and ol. And now I want to define the actual file name. In theory, we do the full sling resolution here as well, so you could add relative names. Um, but you can also define any file in the system, any HTL file to overlay. So when we reload our page, you can see that the result changed. So I got this from my resource super type and we just changed the OL and the rest is the same. So in this gives you the possibility really to just overwrite sections and not always to copy all the HTML code over. Another question I was asked is, can I mix HTL and all JSP code? The answer is, yes, you can. In, we created a data HTL include block statement. And in this statement, it's pretty similar from the behavior to the CQ include tag. You can mix JSP and HTML code. All right, that's it from today. I hope you could understand me because I'm outside and it's super noisy. So um, if you have any question, please don't hesitate to comment. Uh, if you liked it and you want to stay tuned on the next progress of HTL, subscribe please to this podcast. And don't forget to check out the Adobe at Adobe blog. Thanks a lot and I hope I see you during the next show. Bye guys.